now let's go ahead and open up that door there. And there's apparently absolutely nothing in here. But, oh yeah, that's right, we have to go into Benny's particular suite. Well, that was, that was somewhat wasted, but we'll have to go to Benny's, Benny's particular suite in order to get to the next, next area, rather. Alright, so, let's see here, we have to go over here. Someone's having a good time. I had no idea. But thank god you had to tell me that. Alright, so this should take us to pretty much where Benny makes his home. And unfortunately Benny is pretty far and away from us. And we really can't really be able to help him out. So I have to do this very quietly and sneak in. Oh, come on, boom. A little bit more closer there. Right, boom, that door there. Alright, now we should be pretty much right here. As you can see there is a non-aggro character pretty much lying around here. There's uh, another Securitron bot. Hi there. Good to meet you. What can I do for you today? Good question. My function is to monitor Mr. House's data network and decode his encrypted transmissions. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a PDQ-88B Securitron, but you can call me Yes Man. It's what Benny always called me, probably because I'm programmed to be so helpful. Sure, he came through here in a big hurry. Didn't even stop to say hello. I think he went down his secret escape elevator out in the hall. Sweet. Now we're going to give ourselves a level. Uh, let's see here. Sure. Benny had me look at it a bunch of times. It's a data storage device. Kind of like a holotape, but a lot more advanced. As for what's on it, well, some of Mr. House's data transmissions made it sound like the chip could upgrade his defenses somehow. That's just a guess, though. The chip's a proprietary format. You need special hardware to read the data on it. There are two locations with non-standard hardware on the network the Lucky 38, and an underground facility at Fortification Hill. I'd look there! Hmm, Fortification Hill, you say? Oh! He wants to kill Mr. House and use the Platinum Chip to copy my neurocomputational matrix onto the Lucky 38's mainframe. That should give me control over all Mr. House's defenses. Most prominently, his Securitron. And then I just do what Betty tells me. Easy peasy! I was programmed to be helpful and answer any questions I was asked. I guess nobody bothered to restrict who I answer questions for. That was probably pretty dumb, huh? Yeah, kind of. Then I'd have to help you. I mean, it seems pretty obvious Benny wouldn't want me to, but hey, not my fault I can't say no. Again, goal number one is to eliminate Mr. House and install my neurocomputational matrix on the Lucky 38's mainframe. Given how you're a new arrival, I also recommend that you get to know some of the region's tribes, so you can decide how you feel about them. 
By the time you finished up all of that, the Legion should be close to attacking Hoover Dam, and we'll execute the last phase of the plan. Oh no, I didn't mean that. Who needs their support? The Securitrons will be all the support you need. What I meant is, you should get to know these tribes and decide which ones you like and which you don't. You know, shape the future of Vegas. Choose your neighbors. If you like a tribe, leave it alone. Or, if a tribe is nasty or going to be a problem, go ahead and exterminate it. It's whatever you want to do. There's a bunch. Some of them you've already met, like the chairman, for instance. I think you should visit the other families on this trip, the Omertas and the White Glove Society, so you know what makes them tick. And there are some important groups farther from the strip, too, like the Boomers, the Great Khans, and the Brotherhood of Steel. Right! It's one of two locations on Mr. House's network with non-standard hardware. My guess is it has a reader that can decode the chip. And who knows what else, maybe a giant robot or something. I have to admire your prudent nature. Why get caught up in action, you know? And results? All right, let's say goodbye to him and continue on. Let's see, bump that up and bump that up as well. Get those two as well. Good and good. But yeah, pretty much the whole deal with the yes man is pretty much he. <laughs> is very much uh, programmed to help whatever whatever person that needs needs help, and you can't really say no to can't really say no to them because that would be just outside of his name. Just wouldn't really work out well for him. But you can probably you can probably go check out Mister. Go say hi to Mr. House. Even though it'll be probably for the probably for the only time. But eventually we'll come back to the come back to the tops and do some gambling. Probably do some roulette. Do some roulette. Usually that's it's always quite a fun Quite a fun game to play. The eyes of the mighty Kaisar are upon you. He admires your accomplishments and bestows upon you the exceptional gift of his monarch. Any crimes you may have perpetrated against the Legion are hereby forgiven. Kaisar will not extend this mercy a second time. My lord requires your presence at his camp at Fortification Hill. His mark will guarantee your safe conduct to our lands. Incidentally, it will interest you to know that the man you seek has fled the Strip and is likely making haste for Kaisar's camp as we speak. I am the greatest of Kaisar's frumentari. It was not a challenge to find you, nor is this my first visit to the Strip. Go to him, and you will understand. Seek Kaisar by way of Cottonwood Cove, south of Nelson. The Corsor of Kulus will be waiting. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm not gonna be hey, accepting you this. Here. I have a message for you. It's from Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go. Oh. All right. That'll be the NCRs. Mm, representative, representative there, and then Volpus and Kaba. 
Very much as the, uh, the Legion, Caesar's Legion representative. Uh, can we get in here? Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. I see you brought a friend. Sorry, partner, but they're gonna have to stay outside. Come back soon now. Um, that's probably the first and only time that you'll ever see those doors open. It's kind of like a megaton. It's like megaton. Good old follow three. Very entertaining. Right. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of people around. I mean, why would they? I mean, why would there be? Where to, partner? Let's go to the penthouse. Named Jane. Oh, grand. But yeah, this is pretty much the top top floor of pretty much the pretty much of the Lucky Thirty Eight. Makes quite a makes for pretty much a good penthouse. Mr. House is pretty much right over, probably over there. Uh, where is he? Drop, drop down. Oh. Oh, there he is, right there. I forget there is like. Two sections. Two sections of this. The point of my inviting you to visit me, Keeper, the Lucky 38, before stomping into the tops on your own, was to help you prepare tactically. Now, because of your carelessness, Benny has fled the strip, taking with him the platinum chip. His destination is hardly a mystery. It's a near certainty that he's making his way for Caesar's camp at Fortification Hill. It's one of just two places on Earth that have the hardware necessary to read the platinum chip. The Lucky 38 is the other, of course. I could see that on the video. I don't think yes men would like that. I won't lie to you. It'll be dangerous. The next step will require you to infiltrate Caesar's camp at Fortification Hill. Absolutely not. Caesar is of great use to me. I don't want you harming a hair on that man's head, assuming you can find one. I want you to open a hatch in the basement of the derelict weather station atop Fortification Hill. You'll recognize it on sight. The hatch bears the logo of the Lucky 38, same as the Platinum Chip. Something very important. I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise, so don't bother asking. If you find Caesar's legion so frightening at this remove, imagine them rampaging across the strip. 
We have a chance to see them destroyed, to see New Vegas become the harbinger of a new age. What about him? He has every reason to go to the fort, so that's where you'll find him. All I ask is that you recover the chip. What happens to Benny is up to you. Not if you've been invited. Do you realize that you've made quite a splash here in New Vegas? I can predict with a high degree of confidence that you'll receive an official summons from Caesar. If you haven't already, that is. I'm not surprised. The Legion has spies on the strip. I'm not offering you an incentive as crude as money, though there'll be plenty of that. What I'm offering you is a ground floor opportunity in the most important enterprise on Earth. What I'm offering is a future for you and for what remains of the human race. If you find we have... I'll give you time to think over the consequences of what you're saying. I urge you to reconsider. All right, so we could pretty much accept his offer or we could just pretty much refuse. Right, let's talk to Victor Morgan. again. The boss has instructed me to comp you to the high roller suite. You can bring your friends too. Be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together. Just bear in mind, you're the only one gets to see the boss. Any friends you got, they can wait and sweep. Enjoy the dates, partner. They're plenty fancy. Alright, so we do get a we get a presidential suite of our own, but we're gonna go. Head on down to the casino floor. Head back down there. Pretty nice. It's a pretty nice room. But, it's not, uh, nothing really works. It's not open to the general public. Trust me. The gears are on. Quite lame. Uh, but let's. Head on back outside. Well, I'll probably meet another another group. Another group of people. Possibly eventually. Load the screen. Load the screen. Excuse me, but white are you coat. the who caused all of that trouble in the tops? Oh, great. The followers of the apocalypse, well, some of us anyway, have been interested in Mr. House's technology. How he stays alive. Of course, no one else is allowed inside the Lucky 38, so no one knows what's going on. Well, except for you. Right. We just want to find out what sort of technology Mr. House has used to stay alive for all these years. It could be of great benefit to the people we try to help, many of whom suffer from hard-to-diagnose illnesses. <laughs> really? Oh, I wasn't expecting you to agree so easily. That's great. Here, take this packet sniffer. It'll allow us to intercept data on Mr. House's network. You might have to manually remove the encryption from his data network, but hopefully you won't have too much trouble. Good luck. I guess we could do that. Do that quickly. There is the connection between the followers of the Apocalypse and Caesar's Legion, in particular. Caesar himself. Uh, let's see here. If 
unfortunately for them, this little access point won't be won't be too effective. Let's see here. So let's go ahead and pop that access point in there. And head on out. Enter in, enter out, back out into the open. Should have probably talked to that uh, NCR guy. I don't forget his name. I thought we just talked to that guy about like, 10 minutes ago. Hey, have you been able to bug Mr. House's network yet? It looks like we've started getting reports from the tower's network. I'm sure the others will be able to make some sense of this. Oh, what the hell? The bug went offline. Damn it. I swear to God that old man has thought of everything. Well, it looks like this was all for nothing. But you did your best. I appreciate the help. Well, well accepted. I guess we'll let's go talk to that one NCR guy. Can't remember his name, but uh, pretty much as yes man did mention that we would have to eventually talk to the when I was eventually talk to the great cons. Gonna go to Red Rock Canyon. It is pretty much to the west. To the west of us. There. But let's go ahead. Stop by the NCR Embassy. Help you. Let's see here. Let's see what they need or want, rather. Talk to the Welcome to the NCR receptionist. How can I help you? Ambassador Crocker can be found in his office through the door to my right and at the end of the hall. Sir. Alright. I think this is the way. Yep. Oh, my right. Oh, yes. There's Mr. Crocker. Ah, I see you received my message. Good, good. I had something important to discuss with you. How can he type so fast and still look at me? That's something I never understood. I'm sure you've noticed that things are a little tense around here with all the issues between the NCR, the Legion, and Mr. House. It doesn't take a genius to see that something big is going to happen soon. To be honest with you, the NCR is in a tight spot. But if we fail now, it's the people here that are going to suffer the most. I'm not willing to let that happen, and I don't think you're the kind of person that would either. To the northeast is a settlement. The locals here call them boomers. They are sitting on a munition stockpile that would be invaluable to us. I would like you to get in contact with them, and then do whatever it takes to convince them to help us. Unfortunately, the boomers keep to themselves and are, let's say, hostile to all outsiders. That's why I need someone like you. Someone with your background and reputation would have a better chance of reaching them than anyone I have available. In exchange for your help, you would receive complete amnesty for any past crimes against the NCR, as well as additional benefits and perks. Do you think you would be able to do this for me? Much appreciated. Once you've talked to them, come back and let me know if they will help us. Uh, let's see, let's say goodbye to him. And head on out. Uh, 
I'll have to, I'll have to go grab, go grab Boone. Go fetch him, but that's pretty much the end of the strip right there. So only, only just a few sections, there's a hotel. Hotel there. Okay. So, yeah, there's the Ultralux. Yeah. I believe that's a police station right there. And tops. Great. Right. Alright, then there. Okay, 38. Right there. Uh, I believe that is the uh, Mertas. There. Alright, let's go. We'll grab Boone. I've got your back. Alright, so pretty much the next time uh, we'll do something a little a little bit daring and a little bit bold, but I think you guys will enjoy it. But uh, well, some of you guys will, but some of you probably won't, but but you'll have to see in the next episode.